Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can create some cool FM sounds for your Psytrance tracks. And we're going to spend our time mostly inside the Wavetable editor for this, or actually not really spend our time in there, but we're going to make use of the Wavetable editor in order to capture these sounds. So first of all, we want to create a patch um, that can create these sounds. And I figured out that if you change the sub oscillator to a square shape and then assign an LFO to the warp mode over here and set it to 50% or 50 and then choose FM from sub oscillator we get this and the sound in itself isn't that interesting so what we want to do now is um, <clears throat> we want to change the Let's choose another table for this. Let's try something like this. And if we go to the menu and choose resample to oscillator B, what's going to happen is that we're going to capture all the modulation going on within Serum. Uh, and we're going to get that as a wavetable. So we get the FM stuff right here, right? However, um, there's this specific frame within this table that I'm after. And I believe it's the, the frame that happens when the LFO goes from top to bottom, like somewhere in between. It captured this weird little uh, timbre uh, to it. So... Like 128 is going to be when it's at its highest. That's not interesting. And this is basically how it is dry, which also isn't interesting in this case. But what happens in between on frame 129? This, this is what I'm after. This, this sounds interesting to me. It's a perfect uh, candidate for creating an FM lead in Psytrance, for example as you can hear. And not only that, we can change the timbre even further by flipping it uh, on the horizontal axis, on the X axis. So this is, this is A, B. And I, figure also, I also figured out that on the wavetable position of oscillator B now, if we go to frame 65, we get the same type of frame, like somewhere, I think it's somewhere in between 1 to 0, if that makes sense. But it sounds slightly different. And also, same goes with 193. So we have 193. 129 and 65. <clears throat> so yeah, that's basically it. Let's try it out with another oscillator or another wavetable. This sounds pretty weird. We're going to resample it to oscillator B. Yeah, this is what I'm after. Uh, so that's 65, 129. Also pretty cool. And 193. But I like 65 the most. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export it as a single cycle waveform. <clears throat> so number 40. And then we go to... Uh, here and we flip it We get the other timbre too And we got 40 and 41 is going to be our tables then we can initialize the preset and I can just go in here Okay 
Uh, let's try this again. 40 and 41. And we got, we can like alter between the two. Just makes our life easier when we want to choose what kind of timbre we're after. Um, let's say we're happy with this. We can export it. Call it switcheroo. Zero one. And we load it back in. We got these two. And it doesn't really <coughs> stop there just to prove it even further <coughs> that this is gonna work in any synth. I'm just gonna grab trusty old uh, face plant, for example. Where is the, there it is. And we can load it here. Sounds exactly the same. So yeah, that's all I want to show you guys. Um, as you probably could tell, um, if you're wondering what this is all about, I'm working on the Cytables version three or volume three. Um, and it's coming close to a release date soon. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on that. So you can check out my gum road if you wanna check out the other two packs. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. <clears throat> So yeah, that's a little technique I like to use to create some single cycle waveforms. Um, and they're gonna be, a lot of them are gonna be included in the upcoming pack uh, for the side tables. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Goodbye.